All right, welcome to Gotham Sounds live stream about bags. I'm calling it the Bag Report, all about bags, everything you wanted to know about bags and more. Uh, I'm Nick Houston, sales manager here at Gotham Sound. Before we get into the bags, um, you know, people have asked why we do these live streams, why are they during the day. Uh, you know, they're not only available during the day, they're available 24-7 online. We want to have them uh, available for you, our customers. Also, they're very useful for us internally uh, for training videos. We learn a lot making them, and we hope that you get to learn a lot uh, by watching them. So anyway, uh, bags. There's tons and tons of different bags. Uh, we're going to go through a few of them that we sell uh, here at Gotham Sound. The first one we'll talk about is the tried and true uh, Porta Brace audio organizer. As you can see, uh, it's basically one solid rectangle. Um, you know, firm, doesn't really fall apart, and has plenty of space inside for you to do whatever you want with it. Uh, so you can put your mixer, your recorder, your wireless, uh, whatever you need to do up there. Uh, it also has a bunch of pouches on the side, both sides, as well as one on the top. Uh, so this is the Porta Brace. Porta Brace has been making bags for years and years and years, and um, they obviously have been an industry standard. Um, but let's get into some other ones. Let me go into our store. Excuse me. Okay, so another new bag, another bag that we have, this is a Court Witch bag. Uh, it's a little bit different than the Porta Brace. Similar concept, basically a rectangle, but with more, um, but a little bit less customizable uh, because you've got a top pouch here, you've got a main pouch here, uh, and then you've got these little uh, accessory pouches up top that you can use for wireless receivers or really whatever you want. Uh, opens on the side, so that's also a little bit different. Opens on both sides. It's a lot lighter, a little bit um, more flexible, and has this giant see-through windscreen. Or not windscreen, rain cover. Thank you. There we go. Okay? All right. Next back. Excuse me. Okay, this is the Sackler bag, formerly known as the Petrol. Uh, not much has changed since Sackler took over Petrol. The color's a little bit different. You notice it's red inside. But on my monitor, it actually looks orange still. But it is, in fact, red. Um, cool thing about this, it opens on the side. And this one, these actually fold down. So you can get into the bottom of the bag. Uh, there's a special little pouch down here that most people use for, uh, for batteries. This is where I keep my NP1 batteries when I'm mixing. Uh, and then you can also get into it from the top. Uh, not quite as firm as the Porta Brace, but same general idea where you've got this big open space in the middle um, and you can change it around however you want. There's a lot of different uh, dividers, holders, so you can bring different pieces of audio equipment uh, up or down, or however, and then you've got little transmitter receiver pouches on the side for your camera hops, doohickeys, and what have you. Um, okay, next is one of the newer bags. This is the K Tech Stingray bag. Uh, this is one of the more popular new bags. Uh, cool thing about the K Tech, it's got these little handles here uh, that go up for carrying and down to stay out of your way. Um, it folds completely down on the side. Really it does, hold on. There, it's got a lot of zippers so you can bring things in and out of it. But yeah, completely down on the side giving you a huge amount of accessibility. Um, it's got this open pouch on the top, again giving you accessibility and you can get into it from the bottom uh, using this clip. Uh, so it's also on magnets. You can't see it, but it literally sucks itself back up and keeps itself on even if the clip is not there. Uh, so the KTEC Stingray bag, certainly awesome. Lots of different pouches, some on the side. Um, this cool metal mesh, or this cool mesh thing down the bottom. Um, yeah, it's a great, great bag. All right, so that is the 
KTEC Stingray. All right, and the last audio bag I'll show you is the Orca bag. Um, the Orca bag, uh, again, they're all very similar. They've got this large main pouch here, um, very similar. The Orca bag has a rigid frame that goes around the side to help it keep its structure. And one cool thing that it does is it opens all the way. So you can just, really, you can. There you go. So you can just fold down that side. You can fold down this side. You can fold down this side. You can fold down this side. And the Orca bag will just leave you with the cage that's in the middle uh, and full access on all four sides. And similar to the, uh, the K-Tech bag, also you can have access from the bottom. So if you have a 788, if you have a Nomad, if you have anything that has rear connections, rear media, um, you know, anything that we need to access the back, you can do that. Um, the other cool thing that I personally like uh, is instead for the, where you put your NP1 battery, you also have access through this zipper. Um, so you can grab the battery down here as opposed to having to pull the whole thing apart. As opposed to having to pull the whole thing apart to get to it, you have that one little battery case. So those are the audio bags. Now, uh, other things that you may think about uh, in terms of accessories, uh, and I'm just going to show some of the Orca things that we have in here. There's the Orca backpack, um, and many of the other manufacturers have backpacks as well, but you can put your some accessories in here. You can put a boom pole in here, zip it up. You can, and it's got a ton, a ton of room inside. It's all padded, protect your stuff. Lots of pockets down here, and just, you know, everything's completely customizable, and it's blue, so, you know, that's exciting. Um, and it can be used as an actual backpack. So if you're, you know, feeling the need to go, um, to be portable, you need to take it on the subway, you need, you're doing a documentary, having something like this to carry your accessories is a great idea um, as opposed to a heavy rolling case. All right, um, other things, if you wanna go a little bit bigger, you can go with a bag like this. This is more of your kind of standard camera bag. This is just what the, the new Orca one looks like. Um, again, little pouches everywhere, kinda standard. Uh, and on the inside, again, just a giant, big, open space for you to do whatever you want with, just like that. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is a little bit heavy, uh, so I'll go get it. But this is something that I think is pretty cool, especially if you're in between that. Yeah over the shoulder world and cart world. This is the Orca, oh wait, this is the Orca cart. Um, so this cart, and if we have a graphic, let's throw it up. This cart is designed for you to be able to keep all your stuff inside, roll up to set, and be able to put it on top of the cart. So you see here, uh, we put together a very quick uh, sound devices CL12 uh, with a 688 that would sit on top of the cart um, just like that. Um, so it's big enough to handle anything that could be cart based, but it's also designed to be portable and be able to keep all your stuff in this one, uh, this one thing. Um, so if you're, uh, if you're a reality person or if you're somebody that does a lot of documentaries, but you know, you have a bag that weighs 40 pounds and you need something that you are, um, you know, that can carry things that you can always plop down on the Urca carts, pretty neat. Uh, also, if you are kind of, you know, getting into features or do some features or do some narrative work or do some commercials and you need a cart, um, you know, because that's what people do, uh, then this is great. And so you can see inside, this is the top that comes off and it goes on top in the way that we showed you before. And then you've got this giant, massive uh, space that you can reconfigure. There is also, and I can't get it out, but there is also a light strip here. So you can light uh, this inner pocket here and give you a little bit of a sense of um, what's going on. So uh, that is 
the orca cart, the bags. We are going to do something a little bit different on our live stream today. Um, we've recruited, let me get rid of this. We have recruited a couple of the more attractive associates at Gotham Sound to model the harnesses for you. Um, so if you would, if you have any comments, um, you know, please let us know who, we're, who wore it best, who walked better. Um, today we will be featuring a runway show of uh, Matt Tenero and Will Smithson wearing various harnesses by various manufacturers. So let's go to the show. Okay, up first, we have Matt Tenero wearing the Portabrace AH2. He's gonna walk down the runway any second, and boy, is he working. Notice the AH2 is lightweight and simple and comes with an optional belt. Perfect for your run and gun gigs. Looking good. Yep, there he is. Okay. Yep, the, then again, the Portabrace AH2. And the Jim Guzzi, version one. Uh, coming up next, this is Will Smithson wearing the Portabrace ATV tactical vest. Form-fitting design stabilizes equipment close to your body, even when you move. It's durable, made of 1,000 denier Cordura nylon construction. Boom pole clip provides convenience and rest when not recording. Swap out the integrated tablet pouch or phone accessory pouch and the modular design adds additional storage if needed. That again is the Port of Race ATV tactical vest. Thank you, Will. All right, now we'll see how, how quickly we can change. Up next on the runway, how are we doing, guys? We're good. Up next on the runway is the Sackler heavy duty harness worn by Matt Tenero. It's a heavy duty harness designed to comfortably carry audio bags weighing up to 88 pounds. That's the size of a small child. Uh, and an, an ergonomic vest style design with airline type straps and easy snap locks provide the best fit and fully padded to reduce strain on your neck and back. That again, the Sackler Heavy Duty Harness. Thank you, Matt. Up next on the runway is the VersaFlex Heavy Duty Harness. The soft cloth padding under wide straps is used to prevent shoulder fatigue chrome plated adjustment and attachment rings with more room for adjustment. More spaces along the front allow for additional adaptability in fit and add-on accessories. There's also a removable waist strap to keep uh, sound gear close to your waist. And of course, it's available in various sizes, small, medium, large, and with a breathable fabric option. That is the VersaFlex Heavy Duty Harness. It will, looking good. Okay, up next on the runway is Matt Tenero sporting the K-Tech Stingray Harness. There he is. The Stingray Harness features an exospine, which is a rigid spine designed to transfer bag weight through the harness instead of through your shoulders and spine. The hip fins comfortably transfer rigid spine loads into your hips and legs where it belongs. There are six mounting points to effectively and comfortably secure the bag to your body. Adjustable butterfly design shoulder straps fit various types of bodies and sizes. Lightweight, breathable materials keep you comfortable and cool, just like Matt Tenero. And of course, there's plenty of attachment points on the front and back of the harness. And last but not least is Will with the Orca OR40 harness. This harness is easily adapted to suit any user. It's extremely lightweight and ventilated using the EVA skeleton with mesh fabric. It's got a special strong aluminum buckles for extra strength and easy connection to any audio bag. Uni unique sliding system to fit any operator of any size. And it's the world's first power harness with internal cable and special pouch for battery or power bank. And that, of course, is the Orca OR40 audio harness. Thank you, Will and Matt. I don't know if you can come out and take a bow, but it'd be great to see you. Can't hear in the other room, but people on, in Gotham Sound are going crazy. Will and Matt, thank you very much. All right, so uh, this has been all about bags. I hope it was helpful, informative, and somewhat fun. Um, 
I'm Nick Houston. Next week, next Tuesday, we're going to be talking about the DPA microphones. The DPA Slim Mic is out, uh, and you'll want to see it along with DPA's other lineups. Um, archives of this video and others are available at vimeo.com slash Gotham Sound. And if you have any ideas for uh, additional live streams, please email us at info at Gotham Sound .com. Any questions from the stream? No questions. Who? That was perfect. Nobody will want to ask any questions.